All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Al Shawa, or Chakwadash, which Yahweh, this Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shaz from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and Chakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who won't teach you on the scriptures, and salutations to all you brothers out there. I just want to get into a quick lesson, pretty much dealing with uh, two things that the Lord hates, all right? And it's uh, one, a lying tongue, and then two, you know, a man that's so at discord, all right? And um, pretty much had a situation happen, long story short, um, where, you know, there was this, um, this two-third, all right, that um, pretty much he knew a, a brother in the camp and my woman, all right? And this two-third was basically telling... Um, you know, uh, the brother that, you know, my woman was, uh, you know, coming on to him. And, you know, you know, this guy couldn't provide any evidence. Okay. It was just basically, you know, through uh, what he said. And, uh, you know, come to find out that basically my woman was only, you know, talking to this guy because she has a small business. And pretty much, you know, he was inquiring about, you know, some of her product. And, you know, shortly after, you know, it went from that to him, like, I guess, you know, asking, you know, about, you know, some advice in his household, just something very small, I guess you could say. And the next thing you know, this guy was hitting on her, actually, and trying to, you know, get on her. And then she rejected him. And basically, uh, you know, when he got rejected, that's when he told the one brother that's in the camp about my woman, you know. To, to you know to the brother and the brother told me and then you know I end up finding out this whole situation you know I end up you know talking to my woman about the situation she told me what happened and you know long story short you know I'll say this brothers you know you gotta always you know remain cool calm and collective okay you know you can't uh you know jump out of character and you always gotta you know examine everything hear out you know hear everything out first before you judge okay and we'll start off with this scripture here in Sirach 11 and uh, 7. It says, blame not before thou hast examined the truth. Okay. So you can't just blame right away. And I'll say this, my flesh wanted to, you know, you know, go in, I guess you could say, you know. All right. But, you know, I calmed down, you know, cleared my head out, you know, waited a little bit. And then I talked to my woman about it, her, you know, the whole situation. And then, uh, you know, found out what happened. Okay, so it says, blame not before thou has examined the truth. Understand first and then rebuke. You got to have the understanding first and then you can rebuke. Then that's when you, you don't go in. Okay, because you don't want to be rebuking somebody. And the, and the things you're rebuking them on, they're not even doing it. Okay, that, that's not a good thing to do. All right. You know, I, I just wanted to start off with that scripture because... You know, I, I, you know, like I said, my flesh wanted to go in. You know, I, I was upset. You know, I was damn near ready to, you know, <laughs> kick the woman out of my damn crib, man. You know, over this situation. I, I was ready to do all those things, man. Hey, but the spirit told me to calm down and, and just, you know, relax. And, you know, and, and, and talk, you know, you know, to my woman first. Talk to the brother, you know, some more. Try to get some more information to see if she's lying. You know, see if he's lying. And hey, this whole time, this guy never provided, you know, any true, you know, uh, uh, facts. True evidence, you know. Guy was just being a demon because he got rejected. So then he tried to sow discord in my house by lying, all right. Falsely accusing my woman of doing something that she didn't even do. Okay. And, um... Let me get this. This is uh, uh, what was it? So, what was it? Proverbs the uh, Salakia. Proverbs the sixth chapter. All right. Let's get Proverbs the sixth chapter. Okay. <coughs> and this guy is gonna get a great judgment, man. You know, people like this. They're gonna uh, have to deal 
All right, we're with you know the terrible judgments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. See, a lot of these people they don't believe in the Lord and they think that they they're gonna you know be able to just continue with you know with their lives and not you know get judged. No, they, they they're gonna get judged. Okay, I'll say this: a hey, people that mess with the the elect, hey, the men of the Lord, their families, they're really gonna get it, man. Okay, best believe, they're really gonna get it. All right. But this is uh, Proverbs 6 and 16. These six things do with the Lord Yahweh hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. Okay. The Lord hates pride. That's the first thing. Proud look. A lying tongue. The Lord hates liars. Okay. And going back to my situation, this guy, hey, he, he was a liar, man. He was a liar. Making false statements. Okay? It says, in hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imagination. And that's what that guy was doing. He sit there and made an elaborate plan. Okay? He made this huge elaborate plan to have me basically, you know, throw my wife out, or whatever, stir, you know, have her in a messed up situation, have me in a messed up situation. All right? Just because he got rejected. Okay? Just because this guy got rejected. All right? That's some... And then I'll say, uh, uh, you know, throw this in there. This guy, th 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 this two-third, like, uh, um, the brother said that he hasn't talked to him in years. And he came out of the woodworks, man. You know, talking to him, you know, just messaging him on social media and all that stuff. You know? He said it, 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 said it, but it, it threw him off, man. The brother was like, he's like, that stuff messed me up, man. You know? Then even my woman says she hasn't seen this dude since, since what, like, sometimes like freshman year in high school or something like that. And she was just trying to, you know, like I said, the, the, the reason why they even started talking was because she was about to, you know, she was trying to sell him some things because he inquired of her product. And then, you know, you know how, you know, hey, hey, these adulterous men are, all right? And they, they start talking to a woman. Next thing you know, they, they want to, you know, meet up and do this and do that. These people are wicked, man. Some real wicked individuals. And this guy the whole the whole time knew that she, that she had a man and that I was her man. That's some demonic activities, man. All right? And the Lord's going to deal with these people, man. All right? I'm going to keep reading. Feet. That be swift in running to mischief. That's that guy. A false witness that speaketh lies. And that's what that guy was doing. Hey, he was being a false witness, speaking lies. Saying that my woman did this, that, and the third. Or she wanted to do this, that, and the third. That she was trying to, you know, meet up with him and blah, 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 blah. That's some real, that's some real demonic shit, man. That's all I can say. And we're dealing with some... With some evil people in this world, brothers and sisters. We're dealing with some real evil, evil people, man. All right? That's why the Lord's going to destroy the, the, the heathen and the two-thirds of our people. They got to go, man. And they got to die terribly, too. Hey, as the scriptures say, they're going to know it after death by pain. Okay? They're going to dwell in torments. The Lord is going to get these people, man. And this is why. These particular examples that happened, man. All right? And it says, and he that soweth discord among brethren. All right? And that's what that guy did, man. All right? Even though it says brethren right there, man. Hey, he sowed discord, man. All right? In my household. He had me looking at my woman's side. Eye. Then I got, then I got the, whole, the brother messed up, man. That was telling me this stuff. Because he, 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 you know, he, he said that, man, he, he didn't know how to approach me about this. You know, he still did. You know, because, hey, man, that's love right there. He wanted to make sure I was good. But he said that messed him up, man. He didn't know what, you know how to bring this out, man. All right, that's some real, real. That, that's some. That's a real snake, man. The Lord's gonna deal with that damn devil, man. All right, a damn demon. Okay, I want to get one more scripture. All right, this is Proverbs eighteen and three. Let's get this last scripture ended out. It's eighteen and three. Oh, 18 and 13. Excuse me. All right. And then going back to this lesson, Akim. All right. Or one of the points in this lesson. You know, I was talking about how 
we got to hear the, you know, the matter first before we can judge. Okay. We got to, you know, get the evidence, talk, you know, talk, you know, to both sides you know, of the party. Okay. And then, you know, go from there. Cause this is what it says here in Proverbs 18 and 13. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it, it is folly and shape unto him. Okay. And you see, if I answered, all right, that matter right away before I, um, you know, heard the whole, you know, you know, heard all the evidence. Okay. That could have been folly and shame unto me. And I would look like, a, I would have looked like an ass, man. Okay. At the end of the day. Okay. You know, I could have been in a messed up situation. You know. So you, hey, we, we got to be real patient. We can't be like these worldly people out here. All right. And then look, let the Lord deal with our enemies, man. If anybody anybody's doing us wrong, the Lord's gonna get them, man. Up, man, be patient. The Lord's gonna deal with these people, man. And I'm telling you, these people that mess with us, they get messed. They get destroyed, man. Systematically, the Lord starts picking them, you know, bit by bit, man. All right. See, but um, you no, know, I just wanted to, you know, do a quick lesson on that. You know, like I said, you know, hey, for brothers, just. Continue to, you know, uh, to be spiritual, all right, at all times. Don't be hasty into things. Hear everything out. Listen, all right. A, a, a weigh everything out in the balance and judge, okay? Like I said, let the Lord deal with, you know, with these wicked individuals. The Lord's got a special judgment for these people, man, that mess with us, man. Us being the prophets today and, and our families, man. And those who, who believe in Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, the Lord's going to deal with these people, man. All right? And with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and a Baba Ball.